So I would consider myself to be an introvert and I know that probably a lot of you guys that watch this um, as well as obviously a lot of the clients that come to me for coaching um, are introverted, uh, naturally introverted uh, you could say. Um, I guess in my case you know although I, I am or I would consider myself to be naturally introverted of course I have an extroverted side that I've been able to develop over time um, which is why I'm able to do you know day game to the level that I'm at um, but you know uh, a lot of the time you know guys will think about it and you know they'll consider themselves to be introverts and they'll probably think to themselves oh yeah I can't really do this it's just not for me I, it, it's not who I am um, you know I'm too introverted to do this kind of thing and it's almost like they've kind of defined themselves um, in a certain way to prevent themselves from kind of growing or developing in, in, in another kind of way so it's it's not like you know you define yourself as an introvert and that's how you are that's how you will always remain and that's how you're going to be forever you know you can develop you can do whatever you want really um, I know that a lot of introverts do get attracted to day game because of the fact that it's a it's an it's a method of meeting women which is kind of outside of the the normal ways of kind of meeting women because obviously you know through dating apps social circles workplaces uh, nightclubs that kind of thing it just doesn't really appeal whereas when you've got that kind of unlimited abundance in the daytime and potentially having a lot more options that way it can really appeal, appeal to a lot of uh, guys who are a bit more on the kind of the introverted side I think the thing to bear in mind is that although you may be naturally introverted it doesn't it doesn't necessarily hinder you when it comes to doing day game um to to be you know to be successful at it of course you know if someone's like naturally extroverted and they're always really sort of hyper social with everyone that's obviously going to give them a huge advantage and actually a, a lot of the time th those guys can just do you know approaches without any issues a lot of the time they don't even necessarily need coaching because um, they can just spontaneously go up to a girl any time of the day, just go and speak to her, that's fine. But as an introvert, it's going to be obviously a bit different. You're, you're going to have to kind of reframe your, your mindset to get into that mode of actually doing a spontaneous approach. It's not going to just come like instantly. It's, you know, because like, you know, if you spend most of your life, you know, in front of a computer, by yourself, in your room, that kind of thing then yeah it's going to be a bit of a, a shock in terms of you know doing something completely sort of hyper social you know going up to a girl declaring your, your romantic interest that that's quite a big deal or at least it seems that way um so a lot of the case with sort of introverts is about kind of bridging that gap uh to the point where you can become sort of hyper social so you know you can't really go out and expect it to happen just instantly or you know you go out with the intention of approaching girls and then obviously you don't do anything because it's such a huge amount of pressure to put on yourself like oh yeah I need to go out and I need to do like five approaches or ten approaches and yeah I need to pick up some girls get some phone numbers you know that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself <clears throat> so a lot of the time it's about kind of bridging that gap it's about not necessarily putting all that pressure on, your, on yourself initially because then you just end up walking around doing nothing just paralyzed with the anxiety and that kind of thing um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a lot about just um, seeing what you can do to enable you to become a little bit more social gradually. So it can be just as simple as initially going up to people and just asking for directions. Because although that sounds kind of really trivi trivial and maybe a little bit beneath you, it's actually a fantastic way just to get yourself to become just a bit more social with people in general. Literally just going up to people and speaking to them. Literally just speaking to strangers, you know, the first step. To, towards doing that um, and although you know the information exchange is obviously very logical and very sort of um, uh, you know just like purposeful in a sense you know um, that that's actually what you want to be doing um, because when you go out with the intention of oh I need to build that romantic interest uh, you know initially that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself and that's actually one of the biggest reasons why guys struggle to take action initially is because they've put this sort of um, idea in their head where I must go up to a girl, I must have this amazing conversation, you know, declare my romantic interest, get her phone number, have like a five, ama five minute amazing conversation back and forth, it, you know, uh, it's just too much, you know, initially, you've got to sort of break it down a bit to the point where, you know, your, your state will become more social over time and then, then you can have those amazing conversations. So yeah, if you are an introverted guy and you go out 
just with the intention of you know maybe asking 10 people for directions that's a huge amount of progress actually even though it sounds quite quite basic and simple it is a genuinely a huge amount of, uh, of progress um, and on top of that you can do other things as well so for example you can speak to shop workers about whatever they're selling but not just like oh yeah excuse me I'm interested in this how much is this you know try and like really sort of find out about the products maybe reveal information about yourself like what kind of things you're interested in and how that how the product or whatever relates to you so like let's say you're in a shop clothing store and you're like thinking oh yeah normally I wear blacks because it's more my style but I'm thinking of like you know adding more colors and that kind of thing what do you think about XYZ you know having like a proper conversation like that will is another way of sort of bridging that gap to becoming more social so you know shop workers are kind of obligated in, in a way to actually speak to you you know and and they're kind of obligated to kind of have like a sort of basic sort of friendly conversation with you even though it's about whatever the item is and so it's not necessarily like a really sort of personal conversation um it's a really really good way actually to get you into that more social uh, mindset so that you know you do a bit of that stuff and all of a sudden yeah you're far more used to kind of speaking to people in general far more used to speaking to strangers so therefore you know the next time when you do see that attractive girl that you do want to approach it becomes infinitely more easier because you know you're already in that state of mind you're already warmed up and you're already more social so it becomes infinitely more easier as well as this you can also do uh, you know just general small talk with people so like you know let's say you're in an uber ride and uh, you know you're, you're just sat in the back seat and the driver's just you know driving and then and, and, and you're not really talking I mean why not just ask the guy how's it going you know how is it busy today you know how's the traffic just I know it sounds like like really trivial but like small talk can be very very powerful if you are an introverted guy because it can just get you more social um, <clears throat> me personally, you know, generally speaking throughout life, you know, I, I really hate small talk. I find it so like annoying and uh, pointless. You know, if I'm going to speak to someone, I'd rather just speak about something, you know, profound and relevant, interesting. And like, you know, if you ask someone like, oh, hey, how's your day or how's it going? It's like most of the time people, you know, live fairly mundane lives. And, you know, that's not like demeaning anyone. It's just how life is, you know, life most of the time is actually quite boring and mundane and that's just part of the grind of life you know most people aren't doing super exciting things on a daily basis you know unless you're like Richard Branson or something like that you know no one's doing like some insane shit like on a day-to-day -day basis <clears throat> so that's why like you know uh, small talk can be a little bit annoying and whatever but it, it is extremely powerful and you know if someone asks someone like how's your day going it's not like a big deal it's not like intrusive or anything like that um, it's very easy to kind of overthink these things and think that you're bothering the person and or like, oh, this person doesn't want to speak to me or why should this person want to speak to me, that, that kind of stuff. But in the end, you just have to say fuck it and just give it a go. And okay, even if they don't necessarily engage with you that much, so what? Don't take it personally. It's not because of you personally. It's just that whatever, they're maybe in a certain mood or maybe they're not so social or maybe they're really introverted themselves. Um, but it's just about putting yourself out there and seeing what happens without any expectations. You know, that's the philosophy sh you should always have in mind. Um, and the same with day game in general. That That's always how it is. It's always just like throw yourself out there, see what kind of, you know, reaction you're getting. If it's great if it, or if it's okay, carry on. If it's not so great, then you can leave it. It's fine. It's no big deal. And then, you know, you forget about it. It's, no one cares, you know. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with an introvert, you know, you spend so much time sort of by yourself, whatever you're doing, you know, in, in, your, in your own company, you know, myself, you know, I, I actually spend a fair bit of time by myself in my own company. And um, yeah, and, 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 and you know, I, I thrive on that, actually, you know, it's not like necessarily a bad thing, you know, like sometimes people think, oh, that's really sad and lonely, whatever. No, it's, it's just it's normal, you know, as an introvert, you know, you like to spend time by yourself. But of course you want to have that aspect of your life where you are able to communicate with others, you know, effectively. And so it, it feels like really, really difficult, even though it's not in reality, objectively, it's not actually difficult. But your mind, it conjures up that those difficulties um, and those sort of negative projections, um, you know, that's so easy to get conjured up in your mind when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, so it's just about sort of bridging that gra gap in a gradual way, which is far more manageable. And there's always a way to do it.
there's always a way to do it and whenever you are in a situation where you know you feel like you should be doing an approach but you feel like you can't really do it that's okay it's just about taking that step back becoming more social and then trying again in the future so for example you might just see a hot girl in a coffee shop instead of thinking to yourself like oh shit I need to do this approach or oh, she's really hot or oh, I really should do it or oh, fuck I can't do it though because I'm so anxious it's like well hang on a minute forget the approach just ask her like a really basic question just ask for directions or something and so therefore the next time you're in a situation like that it could be on the same day it could be a few days later whatever you know you're going to be far find it far easier to actually do that approach like in a normal sense if that makes sense so yeah just bear that in mind and um, don't underestimate the power of just doing like really really sort of basic small talk and asking for directions just really really simple chats like that can be really really effective so yeah that's what i recommend thanks for watching if you want to be able to do what you see me do in these videos head over to my online course which covers pretty much everything you need to know about day game to get to a good level and actually implement it in a manageable way link is in the description